Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 179 of Stack Minute. Uh, we've had him on before to talk about learning and certification updates. We're having him back here again to talk about learning and certification updates. Um, Abasher, if you don't mind uh, introducing yourself to our new Snackers, and then we'll jump right into it. Thank you for having me here, Kareem and Matt. Uh, hi, Snackers. It's good to be back, uh, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. Uh, my name is Mubashir Nawaz, and I manage Cisco certification portfolios. Uh, my team is responsible for the certification roadmaps. Uh, we manage the life cycle of all Cisco certifications from associate to expert level, uh, including revisions, new exam launches, and end of life for the exams. Um, so Kareem and I actually talked previously in uh, some previous, previous episodes about some updates coming around certifications. Um, can you kind of give a broader background to uh, why we're going through these certification updates? Uh, sure, Matt. So today's Stack Minute uh, is focused on introducing the next generation of Cisco certifications, uh, enabling current and future workforces with the AI-driven skills in network automation, collaboration, and cybersecurity. Artificial intelligence is witnessing a remarkable surge in adoption and economic influence across various industries. As of now, 77% of companies are either using or exploring AI technologies, with 63% intending to adopt AI globally within the next three years. Similarly, cloud is also experiencing exponential growth. Uh, according to reports, 94% of all companies worldwide use cloud computing in their operations, and 97% of IT leaders are planning to expand their cloud systems. And thanks to the increasing complexity of networks, there is a need for efficient management solutions. Trends in automation technologies are also looking towards a significant growth. The network automation market, Matt, is estimated at 31 billion US dollars in 2025 and is expected to reach at 88 billion USD by 2030. That's why today we are announcing our organization name, Learn with Cisco and are excited to announce a series of certification updates that better align to the changes you are facing in your day-to-day -day work and beyond. Whether you work in collab, network automation, cybersecurity, or any combination of these, our certifications are growing so you can do. But growth doesn't need to be complex. We are simplifying Cisco certifications framework to make it easier to identify your certification path with the names you know best, most our certifications will now follow three certification levels, CCNA, CCNP, and CCI. Well, that's great. This is great. So, so learn with Cisco, and we're simplifying our certification framework. Can you uh, get in more details around that, um, especially the certification and highlight what changes in the collaboration portfolio specifically? Yeah, the collaboration one's interesting because um, that's not one we talk about that much, Kareem. No, it isn't actually. So to match the evolving needs of a hybrid workforce, Kareem, we are evolving our collaboration certifications to cover both cloud and on-prem collaboration needs. You'll have the choice to focus on the approach most applicable to you or both if you work in a hybrid environment. Our new collaboration core and specialist certification addresses the specializations in tech that weren't previously offered. We now have better coverage of cloud, on-prem, and hybrid technologies. Uh, as an experienced IT pro, you can show employers that you have specialized knowledge of the latest collaboration technologies, giving you a skilled-focused advantage. So effective 3rd February 2026, we will be offering updated collab exams with major updates to core and specialist exams. As part of our roadmap cycle, we also will be end of lifing some of the collaboration automation and collaboration applications exam. Uh, we will also introduce a new cloud-based exam that will focus on WebEx contact center technologies. Uh, the new exam topics are now available to the candidates who are preparing uh, and the resources to prepare are also available in Cisco U. Yeah. Um, a little birdie told me uh, another interesting fact on top of all this change is that um, you guys are actually moving away from the, the term DevNet certifications for the associate, the professional, and the uh, specialist exams. Can you talk about that movement from DevNet to the automation and actually kind of highlight what's changing there? 
So Matt, our evolving automation certifications are built on the foundation of DevNet mm -hmm. and are designed to support the next generation of networking professionals uh, whose careers are being shaped by the emerging influence of AI and intelligent infrastructure. Take advantage of the new opportunities in application design, software development, and automation, and gain the skills to lead in a world where AI-driven networking and automation are becoming must-have skills uh, for all network engineers in both multi-vendor and Cisco-specific technologies. With our updated exams, you will not only have the skills advantage, but also the hands-on practical knowledge to face real-world challenges in day-to-day -day operations of multi-vendor network automation. Again, effective February 3rd, 2026, all DevNet certifications from associate level to expert level will be rebranded to CCNA automation, CCNP automation, and CCI automation. In addition to the rebranding, we are also doing updates to the core exam, enterprise automation, and DC automation exam. All other automation exams will be UL on February 2nd, 2026. Please note, there is no changes are being made at the associate level and expert level. The exam is the same, only rebranding is happening from DevNet to the automation. You know, this makes a lot of sense. Um, we are testing for automation. The job market today is asking for automation engineers. And so having an automation uh, holding an automation certification makes sense, but I, um, I'm gonna miss the DevNet name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am gonna say I'm sad too. I mean, Cream, you and I kind of um, built out the initial exams for for that certification, and we worked on all the material to support it. And so it is the end of an era. But as we all know, DevNet is more of a brand than it is a call out to a certification flow. And I think it makes a ton of sense for our customers, for our learners, for them to understand that there is this delineation between learning and certifications and DevNet. I still get questions about DevNet certification exams and I'm like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, so I think that'll help with uh, clear, clearing out some of that confusion and make the, a, um, what, one of the things that I realized in this is it makes those certifications more ubiquitous in the industry. Yeah. DevNet is a thing that we call that automation practice within Cisco, but the automation and programmability is really what we're supporting generally. And I think that'll make it um, even more valuable to the to the certification holder when they go to get their jobs and um, ask for that promotion. So really excited to hear about this change. And Shady it aligns with the market and it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, uh, totally. Good job on, on, on that decision. So collaboration or automation, um, are you doing anything with the cybersecurity exam? Yes, Karim. So to better reflect the synergy between network infrastructure and cyber, um, as I said earlier, similar to what we are doing in automation, we are going to be rebranding effective February 3, 2026. Cisco Cybersecurity Associate and Professional Certifications will be rebranded to CCNA Cybersecurity and CCNP Cybersecurity Certifications. Uh, there is no change in the exam. So candidates, if you are in the process of preparing for the exams, please continue to do so. And uh, it's only a rebrand uh, because we are going to focus on our brand of CCNA, CCNP, and CCI moving forward. So I know the next question that's coming from the snackers that are watching that are certified and potentially the entire community of uh, people that are looking for certifications or, or are certified. Tell us about the migration plan for the, for the cybersecurity and the, the DevNet certifications. That's true, Matt. That's the number one question we had and everybody we talked to had. Uh, we we so we, we have a migration plan. So we will be migrating candidates from current DevNet and cybersecurity certifications to the new CCNA, NP, and CCI certifications. So from now till February 2nd, 2026, we will continue to work on this effort uh, and make sure the transition is smooth. And, and everyone who certifies in DevNet and cybersecurity till then can download their new badges from CertMetric website on February 3rd, 2026. So all of them will be migrated from old DevNet and cybersecurity to new CCNA, CCMP, and CCIE exams. And what happens to the DevNet 500? Do I get a new shirt that says <laughs> 500? We can talk about that, Paige. <laughs> you need the new branded DevNet logo. I definitely do. And I, want, I'm, I belong to the 500, man. I, I don't want to give yeah, that up. You and me uh, both, bro. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about some of the key dates to remember, um, you know, to wrap. I know there's a lot of rebranding, 
um, that's happening, um, which again, makes a lot of sense. Not a, a ton of changes um, to the certification. There are some updates that are happening just for the snackers to kind of walk away with key dates. Can you just give us kind of a, a, a version of that? So if you're currently preparing for the DevNet or collaboration exam, uh, as of now, the last date to test for these exams will be February 2nd, uh, 2026. Uh, first date to test the new automation and collaboration exams will be February 3rd, 2026. Uh, for more details, I highly recommend please visit our CERT roadmaps page to update yourself with the latest information uh, and life cycle updates to CISPR certifications. Yeah, I feel like there's a Groundhog Day joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know that the Learning Certs is a global program, but for those of you in the United States, February 2nd is, uh, is Groundhog Day. So uh, uh, hopefully you take your exam and don't have to retake it for 10,000 years or something like that. <laughs> Mubasher, we, we only have a little bit more time, but um, I wanted to talk about um, quickly the updates to the security design cert certification um, and the same thing for data center. Can you can you touch on those before we finish up? Yes, Matt. So uh, our new security design exam is now available for testing, SDSI. So since my 20th, uh, 2025, this exam tests the candidate's knowledge of security architecture design, including secure infrastructure, applications, risk, even requirements, artificial intelligence, automation, and DevSecOps. Uh, along with that, we also had our minor updates to the data center exams that went live on May 21st, 2025, which better align its domains uh, with today's widely adopted technologies and solutions, uh, while also acknowledging high performance network technologies that enable AI in the data center infrastructure. We've dumped a lot on the snackers. What actions? <laughs> a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So Mubashar, what actions do you recommend viewers take after watching this video? So Karin, the exam topics for the collab are already available. Uh, I highly recommend candidates to go and look at them on the Cisco certification roadmaps page. Uh, for the updated automation exam topics, uh, they will be available in July 2025 this year. Uh, and as I mentioned, there are no changes in the cybersecurity exam topics. So please continue your preparation if you are in the process of that. Uh, for more details on these announcements, please visit uh, roadmaps page and the announcements page for the new era in Cisco certifications. Uh, Learn with Cisco uh, fuels your learning journey, um, offering our renowned expertise and support to help you grow and succeed. Uh, so you start here, go anywhere, and explore the limitless learning opportunities that Cisco delivers. Thank you, Mubasher, for, for coming on and doing this. I always like having you on because you always have some really cool announcements that are coming your way. Always excited to hear about what's happening over at Learning and Certification. So, um, I think these are are fantastic uh, announcements, and I hope all of our learners are are pumped about what's coming. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Karim. Thank you, Mubasher, and thank you, Snacker, for your time. Thank you, Sagars.